Hey everyone, Kenny here. I'm going to review Avatar. Uh, first of all, I think the story was actually quite good. It, it was engaging for me. And uh, the visual effects, <laughs> phenomenal. And uh, has to do with, what's his name? Uh, Sam Worthington playing uh, uh, Jake Sully, but also uh, for a quick moment he was uh, he played his he played a twin brother of his. Uh, he's a paraplegic, and he's uh, commissioned or signed on. Uh, asked to sign up for this uh, go uh, or go into this avatar program and take the place of his dead brother twin brother um, he's assigned to learn about their uh, learn about the the pe the tall blue tailed people I think they're ten feet tall called the Na Navi I, th I think they are, and they're on this planet called Pandora. Uh, he's asked to learn about them and gain their trust to, so he could try and boo them out of the, um, out of the land that they're on because it has some valuable mineral that the humans need, and. Uh, as Jake begins to get to know, learn about their world and learn about the, the species that stays there more, he really starts to get a love for the people or the species in the world there, especially one particular uh, Navi for some reason I can't remember her name but he ends up uh, getting pretty pretty close to her and they start having kind of a relationship together and then once the rest of the I guess tribe finds out they're almost completely exiled from the from the group I think this may be these may be spoilers uh, he also ends up, Jake also, when he's in the body of that blue uh, creature, he ends up also learning uh, about how, learning their language, learning how to uh, speak it, and what their, and also about their ancestors. Uh, yeah, so, you know, their hair also has this uh kind of a connecting end on it where they can connect to or bond to their trees that are there and their uh their ground uh to me it looks almost like a a horse or something but they connect connect to that and then they can control that with their minds and then there are these flying the things almost look like pterodactyls but they aren't so they connect to those with their hair and that is a to me that was also a very good story element because I think if that wasn't in there it would, to me it would have been it wouldn't have been uh, uh, some more engaging and Sigourney Weaver is in it she plays the character Grace She ends up being a very important character in the thread of the story. Uh, uh, she's also one who's trying to convince the those that species to get away from where they're actually staying. And the when she's a, when she's 
when her mind is back in her human body, that's what, to me, that's when she really is, she's almost the, the human character of her. I think she's probably the most important human character in the whole, in the whole thing. Just the human part. I think she's the most, well, probably the second most important next to Jake Sully, obviously. And that general or whatever he is, I got to really despise him, the one who, uh, who tries to destroy the whole race or species, and he has like these three or four scars on the side of his head. He's a pretty buff guy, so I don't know if that would be someone I would want to mess with, but he started kind of being a good guy, but then as the story went on, he was be wanting to kill that race more and more, get or destroy the world, even if it meant killing off the the species. And what I found very intriguing was the the trees that are there. And that was also a way of. Uh, one was that it was uh, it was a uh, that had a a lot a mineral of some sort in it that was also very important to to the species that's there and I don't know if that's really ever explained but that has I think that also has the mineral that they're going that the humans are going after and back the visuals back to that incredible uh, this the 3d uh, was phenomenal even the the uh, the motion capture, I think, over the and the com, com visual effects over the human body and how they were, it looked like they were able to stretch the uh, actors into being those blue creatures. That was an incredible achievement, especially the facial movements uh, and even their movement as the human people or not human the blue uh, species they the Navi or the Navine I forget that was fantastic like when they were sh um, working with their bow and arrows that was great and the uh, kind of the learning montage that Jake goes through was also I think that was kind of crucial to um, how Jake got more and more uh, connected to the people that are there, and there. That's what made him such a valuable asset to the Navi and to the humans, unfortunately. <laughs> Another thing I appreciated, there was Grace, there was this other kind of tall guy, and Michelle Rodriguez, those, those four were a very integral part in trying to save the people that are there. I keep saying species, but human, not human people. They were a very integral part in the story, all three of them. Even the minor the minor character guy he ended up being becoming a very important character <laughs> and they're all, all the acting was great and those four four characters were I think I loved all three all four of them they were, they were great so I would prefer checking out Avatar Anytime, I'd say I would give it a 5 out of 5. Yeah, 5 out of 5.